Nasha. Inhale, take it up. Sapta again. Navasana. This is the boat pose. Be sure not to let your boat sink. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can, making space behind your pubic bone. Calming the mind. If there's any shaking or burning in the muscles, no problem. Hands down. Ashta, inhale, pick it up. Sapta again. Navasana. Calm, steady breathing. Allow a sense of joy. Enjoy the challenge. Never judge yourself. Just practice with a sense of equanimity, a sense of grace, peace, and harmony. Belly sucks in. Hands down. Ashto, inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Navasana. Here we go. Straighten the legs. Use your thighs by pulling the thigh bones deeply into their sockets. Keep the belly sucked in. Straight arms, straight legs. No cheating. Don't go down. You can do it. Calm, even breath. Hands down, Ashto, inhale, pick it up. Sapta again, Navasana. Calm, even breath. Here we go, you can do it. Talk to yourself, feel your hips grounding, the belly sucking in, the legs lengthening, joy coming into your heart. Hands down, Ashto, inhale, pick it up. Sapta again, last time, Navasana. Belly sucks in, you can do it. Straighten the legs, don't give up. Talk to yourself, remain calm. Keep the mind steady. Hands down. Ash, so inhale, pick it up. Nava, jump back, go down. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ekadisha, exhale, downward facing. Bhuja Pidasana. Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the shoulders, slowly wrapping your thighs around the outer edges of the upper arms, cross your feet. Ashto, exhale, send the chin down, shoulders forward, hips back. Calm the mind, gaze at the nose tip. Keep the hips a little lifted, belly in, shoulders firm. Nava, inhale, pick it up. Dasha, exhale, Bakasana. Ekadisha, jump back. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayudisha, exhale, downward facing. Kormasana position. Sapta, inhale, jump the hips over the shoulders again, slowly moving the thighs onto the outer edges of the arms, and slowly exhale, flattening down. Make sure you get the elbows beyond the thighs, squeeze your thighs on top of the shoulders, spread your collarbone. Kormasana position. After you feel settled, Lift the heels and then lift the hips by sending the hips back. Keep squeezing the thighs inward, engage the quadriceps, and press your shoulders down. Protect the collarbone, relax. Coming into Supta Kramasana, you can either sit up, taking your left leg first behind your head, slowly moving around, and then the right leg reaches back and around. Let your feet do the work as they cross over each other. Once the feet are crossed, then slowly exhale as you lower yourself back down to the ground, forehead down. Ashto, lock back your hands, and Nava, lock your feet. You can interlock your fingers, grab your wrist, whichever feels a firmer grip. Once you feel stable in the pose, you can point your toes. If your feet start to slide off after you point the toes, flex them again. Find a sense of calm, relax, breathe, tune into the inner body. Calm in the mind, drop your attention deeply down. Find a sense of rest, flex your feet again, hands to the ground, pick it back up. Walk your hands back, dasha, inhale, pick it up, keeping the feet crossed. After you lift it up, release your feet as you slowly come into balance. Ekadisha, exhale, as you slowly roll through the hips back to Bakasana position. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayudisha, inhale, upward facing. Chaturudisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump through. Straight legs, sit down. Ashto, cross your feet, taking lotus position. Close your knee joint, that's right foot first. Left foot on top, moving into Karpa Pindasana. Move your thighs into your body, and then reach your hands through that space between your calf muscle and your thigh, one and then the other. Taking the hands under the chin, reaching the fingers towards the ears. Balance. Make sure you balance on the space between your tailbone and your sitting bones, curling the spine slightly under. Gaze at the nose tip, calming the mind, little smile. Belly sucks in, here we go. Nava rounding, exhale back, inhale, roll up. Exhale back, inhale, roll up, steer from the hips. Back, 
and up. Steer from the hips, roll back, take it up, little turning. Come on all the way back to the front. Exhale, roll back, inhale, roll all the way up, hands down. Nava, inhale, kukutasana. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Use your lower abs to press it up. Squeeze the fingertips, gaze at the nose tip. Really lift it up and forward as you roll through the shoulders. Suck the belly as deeply in as you can. Exhale down. Take the hands out, keep your lotus if that's possible. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, exhale, jump back. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward. Bhadra Konasana. Come on through. Prepare by bringing the heels into the body, knees out to the side. Keep the heels close to the groin. Then reach forward, thumbs onto the mound of the big toe, spread your feet. Ashto, exhale, fold forward by sending your pubic bone back. Think about pulling the shoulders back, elbows back and up. Knees out to the side and rolling the hip joints back and down. Keeping the back as straight as possible, pivoting from the hip joints as you fold forward. Opening the soles of the feet upwards towards the inner space of the pelvis. Nava, inhale, come up. Basha, exhale, Baddha Konasana B. Round your back. Curl the sitting bones under. Curl the tailbone under. Pull the pubic bone into the navel. Round the back, top of the head to the toes. Gaze into the pelvic bowl and keep it nice and empty. E, Kadisha, inhale, come up. Exhale there, firm the pelvic floor. Knees come back into the center. Hands to the ground. Dwadisha, inhale, to get up. Trayogdisha, jump back. Chitura Disha, inhale, upward facing. Pancha Disha, exhale, downward facing. Upavishta Konasana, Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward, coming through. Spread your legs apart into a V-shape. Reach around to the outer edges of your feet. Ashto, exhale, go down. Aiming your shoulders, your chest, your chin, or your forehead to the ground, but never pull on your feet. Instead, simply let it happen however it wants to happen, however deeply your body chooses to permit you today. Keep the legs engaged, pelvic floor inside, arms are soft, gaze at the nose tip. Firm your pelvic floor. Tuning into the inner body, calming the mind. Nava, inhale, exhale, release your feet, lean back. Dasha, inhale, pick it up, holding on to the outer edges of your feet, spread your legs and balance. Keep the belly sucked in, look all the way up, lift your chest powerfully up, calm, steady breathing, spread your legs, hands down to the ground, cross your feet, Ekadisha, inhale, take it up, Dwadisha, jump back, Dvayogdisha, inhale, upward facing, Chikturadisha, exhale, downward facing. Supta Konasana, Sapta, inhale, jump forward, weight into the shoulders, slide it all the way through, exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, legs over your head, hold on to your big toes and spread your feet as wide apart as the distance of your shoulders will permit. Curl your toes under and press the toes into the ground, keep the hips lifted up feeling a sense of emptiness in the pelvic bowl. Calm, steady mind, gaze at the nose tip. Preparing to roll through the whole spine, bring your attention through each of the joints of the spine. Nava, inhale, roll all the way up and exhale gently down. Dasha, inhale, lift the head up, exhale from your pelvic floor. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekadisha, inhale, take it up. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayogdisha, inhale. Chakturadisha, exhale. Supta Parangustasana, Supta, inhale, jump through. Straight legs, lie down. Hands on your thighs. Ashto, inhale, right leg up. Nava, exhale, fold your chin to your shin. Lift it up, use your abs, left leg is straight. Belly sucks deeply in, calm the mind, use your strength. Dasha, inhale, head down. Ekadisha, exhale, bring your right leg to the side through external rotation of your right hip joint. Keep the belly sucked in, look to the left. Keep the mind calm, regulate the pace of your breath. Left leg is straight, 
One, is our inhale. Prayog, is our exhale. Check third, is our inhale, head down. Pancha, is our exhale, leg down. Show, is our inhale, left side. Sapta, is our exhale, lift up. Lift as high as you can. Calm, steady breathing. Straightening that right leg. Tune into the inner body. Asta, is our inhale, head down. Ekuna, vim, shatahi, exhale. Bring your leg down, out to the side. Look over the right shoulder. Keep the mind steady and calm, right leg super engaged, pelvis grounded, belly inside. Find that external rotation of the left hip joint. Vim shatahi, inhale to the center. Eka vim shatahi, exhale, lift up. Dva vim shatahi, inhale, head down. Trio vim shatahi, exhale, leg down. Hands under your shoulders. Chato vim shatahi, inhale, chakrasana, backwards roll. Roll through the spine, come on all the way over. Walk it forward, back to plank, and exhale, chaturanga. Pancha vim shatahi, inhale, upward facing. Shat vim shatahi, exhale, downward facing. Ubaya padangrasasana, supta, inhale, jump forward into your shoulders, slowly down, and exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, bring your legs over the top of the head, feet together, hold on to your big toes. Exhale there, Nala, inhale, roll right up, balance, point your toes, look up, straight arms, straight legs. Belly sucks in, root it down into the inner space of the pelvis. Keep the mind calm, keep emptiness behind the pubic bone, deep, steady breathing. Keep a sense of inner awareness, regulating the breath. Hands down to the ground. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Eka, dasha, jump back. Dwa, dasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayo, dasha, exhale, downward facing. Urdhva Mukha Pashimatanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump forward. Come on all the way through. And exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, both legs over your head. Hold on to the outsides of the feet near your heels. Exhale there. Nava, inhale, roll up, balance, straight arms, straight legs. Then, dasha, exhale, bend your elbows, bring your chin to your shins. Gazing upwards towards your toes, pull the heads of the femurs down into their sockets, folding the rib cage in towards the center line. Elbows down, shoulders down. Let the strength come from your core. Calm, steady mind. Ikadasha, inhale, straight arms, exhale there, firm the pelvic floor. Hands down to the ground. Dwa desha, inhale, take it up. Trayog desha, jump back. Chaktur desha, inhale, upward facing. Pancha desha, exhale, downward facing. Setu bandhasana, sapta, inhale, jump through. Exhale, lie down. Last pose with the primary series. Congratulations, we're almost done. Bend your knees, feet apart, heels together. Arch your back, coming onto the top of your head. Hold the shoulders and press into the hips. Ashto, prepare. Nala, inhale, take it up. Roll through the upper back, rolling all the way through the neck. Lifting up through the upper back and send your hips up and forward. Think about a long, deep bridge. Then, dasha, exhale down, flatten your spine. Hands under your shoulders, prepare for chakrasana. Eka, dasha, inhale, gently roll through the spine, all the way over. Walk it back to plank, stabilize from the shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Dwa, desha, inhale, upward facing. Trayo, desha, exhale, downward facing. Urdhva Dhanirasana. Sapta, inhale, jump through, back bending. Exhale, lie down. Ashto, prepare, bend your knees. Taking the hands right under the shoulders. Here we go. Nava, inhale, come on onto your head, taking the hands, and then all the way up. Bring your chest out over your hands, moving through a gentle internal rotation of your hip joints. Make space by lifting your ribs away from your hips. Always look for your back bend to feel good. Walk your hands in towards your feet, only if your back bend feels good. Calming the mind, never force the back. Dasha, exhale down. Walk your hands next to your head, then Nava, inhale, come on back up. Send the hips up and forward, pull the rib cage away from the hips. Use your back muscles to use the space that you create between each of the joints of the spine. Rolling the thighs towards each other, looking down, 
and slowly moving your hands closer towards your feet, moving your head down, dasha, exhale down. Nava, inhale, pick it up, last one. Slowly move through an internal rotation of the hip joints, rooting down into the bases of your big toes. Walk gently in, possibly touching your fingertips towards your heels. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can, then inhale, come on up. We'll move into drop backs. Move your feet parallel, hips width apart. Inhale and exhale. Roll through the spine, maximizing the space between the ribs and the hips. And then slowly exhale, bend your knees, drop back. Inhale, slowly, come on back up. Moving through the motion fluidly. Exhale, drop all the way back through each of the joints of the spine. Inhale, shift the hips forward, come on back up. Inhale, create space by lifting the ribs away from the hips. And exhale, gently drop back, bending the knees, lowering down. Inhale, come on right back up. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, come on right back up. Bring your feet together, samasthitihi. A, come inhale, arms up. And away, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale. Chotwari, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shut, exhale, downward facing. Pashimatanasana, sapta, inhale, jump through, straight leg, sit down. Reach your hands, hold the hands, asha, inhale. Nava, exhale, fold forward. Fold into the inner space of the body. Belly sucks deeply in. Your torso moves forward while the hips shift slightly back. Engage the legs deeply and allow your attention to turn inward. Begin to lengthen and elongate the breath. Whereas every other pose you've stayed for five breaths, this posture, Paschimottanasana, deep forward fold, stay for 10 deep breaths. And keep dropping your attention down into the inner body. Reset the nervous system after back bending. Calm, even, equanimous mind. Spreading the toes, engaging the legs, turning your attention deeply inward. Let every breath be deeper. And that's right. Inhale, straight arms. Exhale. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekhadisha, inhale, take it up. Dwadisha, jump back. Vayog Disha, inhale, upward facing. Chiktur Disha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Exhale, lie down. We prepare for the closing poses. Bring your feet close together, leave your hands near your hips. First of the closing poses, Sarvangasana. Ashto, inhale, lift right up into shoulder stand. Hands to the lower back, aligning yourself along the center line. Drawing the thighs in towards each other. Stack the hips over the shoulders and stack the legs right over the hips. Feel the center line. Use a deep activation of the pelvic floor to keep a sense of up through the pelvis. Make sure that your neck is a little bit lifted off the ground and you're pressing your shoulders into the ground. Letting this be a true shoulder stand. Suck the belly in, engage your quadriceps, and deepen and elongate your breath. Ashto Halasana, point your feet, interlocking your fingers, straightening the arms down. Keep the legs straight and think about straightening the spine as you lift the hips up. Belly sucks in. Tune into the inner body, dropping your attention down, calming the mind. Halasana, the plow pose. Karna Pidasana, bend the knees, squeezing the knees onto the ears, rounding the back. You'll notice in this pose, the back rounds as the tailbone tucks under. The knees really squeeze towards the ears. Keep the heels and the bases of the big toes together. The arms stay straight behind the back. Fingers interlocked. Keep the breath deep. Hands to the lower back. Inhale, come on back up to shoulder stand. 
Ashto, take lotus position. The Nava, inhale, Wardva Padmasana. Almost like Padmasana, but upside down. Lift your Padmasana by holding your knees from underneath, wrapping your fingers around the knees, straightening the elbows. Let this still be a shoulder stand, so you're still pressing your shoulders into the ground, keeping the hips back and up. Let the belly stay as deeply sucked in as possible. Tuning into the inner body. Nava, exhale, Pindasana. Sucking in the belly, round the back. Remember to make space by drawing in from behind the pubic bone. Aim the shin bones to the eyebrow center to really feel that roundedness through the whole spine. Lengthen and elongate the breath, hands down. Slowly lower yourself down, keeping your lotus. Use your elbows to come on up. Matsyasana, the fish pose. Hands hold on to your lotus feet, straightening the arms. And then press your Padmasana, your lotus, towards the ground. Don't force the knees, just let it slowly shift forward. Staying here for a total of eight deep breaths, finding a sense of inner connection, reaching through the inner body. Calm, steady breathing, moving into Uttana Padasana. Lift the legs, lift the hands, pivoting into the hip joints. Make sure that the hands and the feet are in parallel position. Sucking in the belly, pivoting into the hip joints, keeping the spine arched. Avoid the temptation to change the hand position or to change the head position. Then keeping the legs up, flatten the spine. Dasha, inhale, chakrasana, roll back all the way over through the spine, then walk it forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ekadasha, inhale, upward facing. Dwadasha, exhale, downward facing. Come to your knees, Shirshasana, headstand. Sapta, prepare, interlock your fingers, top of the head on the ground, elbows down. Ashto, inhale, lift up to Shirshasana, headstand. Find your alignment through the center line by drawing the thighs in towards each other. Keep the tailbone ever so slightly tucked under. Rib cage drawn in towards the center. Belly sucks deeply in. Press your elbows. Guruji always said headstand means strong shoulders. So stabilize the shoulders as much as you can. Activate the deltoids. Keep as much space as possible between the shoulders and the ears. Belly sucks in towards the center line. Keep lifting the hips. After you find the balance of headstand, it becomes almost a meditative pose where you can just surrender into headstand, Shirshasana. With as minimal activation as necessary, appropriate activation, don't overactivate your headstand. Remember to find the equanimous mind, a place of equal balance a place where you tune in to the center. Belly sucks in, avoid arching the spine or tucking too much under. Regulate the breath, deepen the breath, and slowly exhale, pivoting in through the hips, Nava, gently down. Halfway balance, here we stay for about 10 breaths, suck in the belly, shift the hips back, for the half headstand, this counterbalance, bringing blood and circulation equally through the body. Belly sucks deeply in. Shoulders are nice and stable, calming the mind. Then slowly inhale, come on back up to headstand. We'll go for Urdhva Shirshasana. We lift the head off of the ground, tucking the chin under, lifting all the way up, transferring the weight forward into the elbows. Gaze shifts all the way up to the toes. Then exhale, place the head down. Find your Position, Ashtu, exhale, Padapadmasana. Lotus position, 
down lotus position to bind your padmasana. Hands behind your back, hold your feet. Yoga mudra, nama, exhale, go down. Shoulders stay in internal rotation, hands towards the feet, chin down. Gaze at the nose tip. Ten deep breaths. Suck the belly as deeply in as possible, finding emptiness behind the pubic bone, calming the mind. Tune into the inner body. Keep a subtle sensation underneath the skin, deep in the center of the body. Regulate the pace of your breath. Calm, even breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Dasha, exhale, take your hands down, Padmasana position. Tips of the index fingers and the thumbs pressed into each other. Chin down, gaze at the nose tip. Breathe as deeply as possible. Let the resonance, the power, and the sound of the breath fill you. Keep the chest slightly elevated, belly sucks in, pelvic floor super active, almost like you're charging yourself up from the inside. Padmasana position, the lotus pose, keeping a sense of stillness deep into the inner body. Every inhalation makes space, every exhalation lets you dive down deeper within. Deeply with the mind, enter the inner body. Find a sense of humility, a sense of ease, a sense of grace. Let the culmination of the practice prepare you for that one final pose, which is coming soon. Gazing at the nose tip. Finding a sense of deep inner awareness. Lengthening each breath. Make sure inhalation and exhalation are even and equal to each other. Feel the center line, feel the spine. Keeping the equanimous mind. Prepare now for Uttu Tihi. Sprung up position. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Ekadasha, inhale, take it up. Gaze at your nose tip, here we go. You can do it. Push up from the shoulders, pick it back up from your core. Use your lower abs. Find that strength from behind your pubic bone. Exactly when you feel like you cannot do any more. Push through there. Exactly at the point where you want to quit. Keep it up just a little bit more. You can do it. If you go down, pick it right back up. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Keep pressing up from the shoulders. Belly sucks in. Hug the toes under. Dua Risha. Exhale, Chaturanga. Rayo Risha. Inhale. Chiktu Risha. Exhale. Panchadisha, inhale, jump forward, keeping the hips forward. Shodisha, exhale, fold forward, straight legs, go down. Samasthitihi, come on back up, hands in prayer. Prepare for the closing prayer. Swasti Pajabhyaha, Paripalayantha, Nyaye Namargena. Mahim Mahishaha, Go Brahma Nebhyaha, Shiva Mastu Nityam, O Gaha Samastaha, Sukhino Bhavantu, O Shanti 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 Hi. Hey, come inhale, raise your hands, and we exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, Chatwari, exhale, jump back, go down. Pancha, inhale, shut, exhale, basan, sata, inhale, jump all the way through, keeping the shoulders stacked, engaged, bring your legs out in front, and exhale, lie all the way down, close your eyes, relax, tune into the inner body, release your pelvic floor, Release all your effort.